and right hand side. So again, remember the limit has to evaluate for, um, or we have to be able to have that limit for it to evaluate from the left and the right hand side. But here we have a piecewise function where we have x squared plus three um, is equal for all values except when x cannot equal one. And then it equals two at x equals one. So the best thing to be able to do is to kind of teach this by visualizing what the graph is gonna look like. Obviously an x squared is going to be a parabola. Up three is gonna be shifting it for one, two, three. So the graph looks something like this. However, at x equals one, um, there's gonna be a hole because it cannot exist at x equals one, but the function at one is equal to two. So that's what that graph looks like. So kind of similar to something we've explored over there, right? Something similar? So if I was gonna, so if I was gonna ask you what is at the value of the function at f of one, well, obviously on this function we see there's a hole, but we can see that there's the value at two. The limit as x approaches one, notice how we don't really have our two functions. Remember on the last example I had less than, um, less than was one function and greater than was the other function, so we had to test both from the left and the right hand side, right? Um, well, in this one, you can see that there really isn't, I mean, yes, there's two functions, but as far as the function approaching from the left and from the right hand side, um, from, a, from the graph approaching from the left hand side, it's only dealing with this one function, right? So we don't have to apply the algebra because we don't have to apply the algebra basically to um, go in from these because we can see graphically that the graph is approaching this hole. So we just need to figure out what the hole is at one which, when you plug that in, equals four. Okay? All right. That will end it for today, ladies and gentlemen.